Hi, I'm Jonas, a winner of multiple national and international science olympiads. I'm privileged to have had support from the most amazing tutors in my hometown, and that's why now I am so passionate about helping students all across Britain to succeed in their exams. In this podcast, we go through easy to follow theory and examples to provide you with confidence and skills in the subject. Join me in the journey of making your exam experience a success story. Welcome back to our lovely podcast. I'm really happy that you're listening to this episode. And before we start, I would like to do two things. First, if you know someone who could benefit from listening to this episode, please share it with them. That's how we can support more students with the preparation for their exams. Secondly, if you love listening to our podcast, it would be great if you could leave a five-star rating or a review. Okay, so let's have a look at refraction. Refraction occurs when a wave goes through a boundary and changes direction. This is caused by the fact that the wave travels at different speeds in different media. When the wave enters a more dense medium, at an angle to the normal, its speed slows down, and therefore it bends towards the normal. When the wave enters a less dense medium, at an angle to the normal, its speed increases, and therefore it bends away from the normal. Refraction can be demonstrated by ray diagrams, similarly to reflection, where the angle of refraction is measured between the normal and the refracted ray. If the wave enters a medium along the normal, then refraction does not occur. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. A wave enters a medium at an angle of 65 degrees and is refracted. Given that the angle of refraction is 72 degrees, state which of the two media is more dense. There's a link in the show notes of this episode in case you want to double check the answer for this question. Now let's go through some theory about diffraction. Diffraction occurs when a wave passes through a gap or around an object, which causes it to spread. The size of the gap or the area of the object with which the wave interacts as well as the wavelength of the wave determine the degree of diffraction the wave undergoes. If the size is approximately equal to the wavelength of the wave, more diffraction occurs. If the size is considerably bigger than the wavelength of the wave, less diffraction occurs and only some curving on the edges of the wave is observed. Waves with greater wavelengths undergo a more significant diffraction. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Describe what is meant by diffraction. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. So that's the theory and questions for today. I hope you found them useful. If you want to access all of the study resources that we have on our website, go to studysquare.co.uk forward slash all, which is A-L-L. I hope you have a great week ahead. Stay tuned for the next podcast episode and take care. Thank you for listening to Maths and Science Revision with Jonas. If you'd like to get hold of our exam revision guide, go to studysquare.co.uk forward slash PDF and let's turn your exam experience into a success story.